From a very early age, I was working in the fields with my parents. My dad grew up on a farm about eight miles from here, and his father was an organic farmer. My grandfather kind of stayed true to organic practices and very much influenced my dad in that way. Everywhere you look, you'll see the influence of Deborah's father and grandfather on these 75 acres of land. It's called Village Acres Farm, and it's known in central Pennsylvania for being a leader in sustainability. Today, the farm is run by Deborah Brubaker and her wife, Hannah Smith Brubaker. Deborah's sisters, Phoebe and Angela Brubaker, also run a commercial flower business on the farm, making this a true family affair. We have cropland, about five to seven acres of, of vegetable crops, as well as uh, doing pastured livestock. We grow about 50 different varieties of vegetables, um, and the breed of sheep that we raise is Shetland, which is traditionally from Scotland. So they do a really good job in everything from weed control to returning nutrients to the soil. In the early days, Village Acres Farm was a place where customers could pick their own berries. At other times, the farm offered community-supported agriculture, or CSA, boxes. Today, they mostly sell their produce at local restaurants. Deborah says she and her siblings were raised by parents who believed that farming was a higher calling. I think it's the fusion of my dad's real interest in farming with my mom's love of birds, flowers, everything to really kind of create a property that really looks out for, for both food for humans as well as, as the natural environment. We know that mom and dad really wanted it to be a place that fed other people, not just food, but also valuable relationships. And so we've been sort of um, looking at how flowers are integrated. The flowers bring in a new income stream, and just as important, they're good for the crops. So we've added a lot of flowers to our farm, which is great because that's a great enterprise, but at the heart of it, we can grow better vegetables attracting the bees. The family has made other changes to increase sustainability on the land. They planted 3,000 native trees, creating a buffer along the creek. That buffer prevents soil from washing into the creek when it rains. We want that soil to stay in the fields. And so we've been working with farmers um, for a couple of years now to establish trees along the creek on their farms so that it's cleaner water when it comes our way to our farm. So these are the paprika peppers, two different varieties. For true sustainability, we focus on three areas, people, planet, and production or profitability. When it comes to people, we wanna make sure that we have a good quality of life here on our farm and that we're also economically supporting our local community. In terms of the earth, we wanna make sure that we can continue to grow food well into the future. So we wanna pay attention to things like soil health and water quality. And then profitability or production, well, in order to make it as farmers, we have to be profitable. While Village Acres Farm is notable for its sustainability practices, they say there's something else that sets them apart. Well, honestly, I think what's probably makes us most notable is that we're a bunch of women on this farm. So right now, all my mother, the three of my siblings, my partner, who's also a woman, um, is is sort of what identifies us to the, to the larger community. In the end, we're really a united force. We know that we want to feed people, that we want to create a beautiful and ecologically sound environment, and that takes all of us. Pennsylvania ranks third in the nation when it comes to organic product sales. The state is consistently in the top five states for organic mushrooms, eggs, turkeys, and dairy cows. That's contributed more than $1 billion to Pennsylvania's economy, with demand only increasing, fueled in part by the state's close proximity to major markets like Philadelphia, New York, and Washington, D.C.